Yeah, sure. So to recap, to recap, what we ended with, given any two real numbers, exactly one of the following statements is true. So I mean, cannot give it three right now. Sure. Now, can you yes. see the screen? Exactly yes. one of the following statements is true. A less than mm -hmm. B. A equal to B. B less than A. Number two. If three real numbers, A, B, C, with a less than B and B less than C then A is less than C this is the property of transitivity if there are three real numbers A, B, C with A less than B then A plus C is less than B plus C. Further, if C is greater than 0, then is C AC is less than BC, whereas if C less than 0, then AC is greater than BC. So, having re recapitulated this, note it is because of the above properties that that one is greater than zero. So how do we prove it? A tiny tiny little little proof. Can you see my board? Uh, no, not now, sir. I need to reconnect. I'll just call it back. Yeah. A little yeah. proof. by 1 we have either 1 greater than 0 or 0 less than 1 or 1 less than 0 
or one less than zero. If we had one less than zero, can you see the board? No, sir, but I, I, I'm not able to see the board, but what is it? Okay. 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 Let me know when you want the board, okay? Yeah, yeah. In the meanwhile, we will continue this way. It's okay. If we had 1 less than 0, then we must have minus 1 greater than 0 and hence by property 2 hence by property 3 rather 1 is equal to minus 1 times minus 1 greater than 0 which is a contradiction to what we assume that 1 is less than 0 Yes. Therefore, 1 greater than 0. A similar argument shows that a squared greater than 0 for any a belonging to the reals a not equal to 0 right uh, ok so this also will require some yes you can try it you can try it in coffee break. Okay. Try to reconnect now. a subset of R reals we say that S is bounded above if there exists alpha belonging to the reals such that x less than or equal to alpha for all x belonging to s hmm. 
that's okay don't mind the interruptions okay yes yeah. any such alpha any such alpha is called an upper bound of s yes we say that s is bounded below bounded below if there exists a real number beta such that x less than or equal to beta for all x belonging to s any such beta is called any such beta is called hold on any such beta is called a lower bound of s the set s side is s is said to be bounded the set s is said to be bounded if it is bounded both below and above mm. else s is unbounded either from below or above sir yes sir note that if s is the null set that is if s is the empty set then every real number then every real number is an upper bound of as well as lower bound of s so things are getting more interesting now the third lecture right mr my mark the first lecture was with a lot of interruptions no the first lecture no sir this is my fourth lecture that we are the fourth lecture we were speaking only there was no writing yeah and neglecting neglecting that neglecting that this okay, is the that first. yeah because there were too many interruptions with away in the video communication Okay now see we look at an example
the set of natural numbers you tell me is it bounded above or below below yes is bounded below in any real number beta less than or equal to 1 is a lower bound of n but we will see later that n is not bounded above example 1.12 the set s of reciprocals of positive integers the set s of reciprocals of positive integers that is is bounded Surya can you prove how bounded below bounded no bounded means the word when the word bounded alone is used Use it means both bounded above and below. Okay. okay. A positive integer, yes, sir. Yeah. So if you want to say it is bounded, please give a lower and an upper bound. A lower bound would be say minus one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Any bounded. number less than or equal to zero. Okay. And what about how do you, how is it bounded above? Okay, upper bound would be two or any number greater than one. So yeah, so we need to learn to write it in a formal way. We need to learn to write it in a formal way. Hmm. Any real number alpha greater than or equal to one. is an upper bound of S whereas any real number beta less than or equal to zero is a lower bound of S we look at a third example the set S equal to all numbers X which are rational such that X squared less than 2 is bounded come on now think how we will prove this is bounded yes sir X square less than 2 prove it is bounded we can cite some example see uh, Surya yes, when we say it is bounded 
it is just enough to produce a lower bound and an upper bound as you did in the previous case as you did in the previous case but when possible if it is as in the previous case we we formalized it right any number alpha greater than or equal to 1 is an upper bound sometimes it is just sufficient to show an example that the following number is a upper bound or a lower bound mm -hmm. so here how can we proceed so one question arises yeah the bound need to be in the domain of the set ha this will lead to several properties it's a very nice question no the bound need not be in the domain of the set the bound belongs to the real numbers extremely important properties of real analysis are going to arise out of this question okay so here now we can say for example to the lower bound could be negative to to and yeah yeah to is an to is an upper bound while minus 2 is a lower bound yes sir we develop the theory further let s b a subset of r an element m belonging to the reals is called a supremum supremum s p u s u p r e m u m supremum or a least upper bound l u b of the set s if m is an upper bound of the set f s if number 1 m is an upper bound of s that is x is less than or equal to capital m for all x in s n number 2 k 
capital M is less than or equal to alpha for any upper bound of S. This is obvious because M is the least upper bound. Mm -hmm. So to prove that a number is a least upper bound, number one, show it is an upper bound, number two, show it is a least. Mm -hmm. Okay. An element M belonging to R is called an infimum or a greatest lower bound of the set S if number one M is a lower bound of S that is to say M less than or equal to X for all X belonging to S set S and number 2 beta less than or equal to M for any lower bound beta of s Copy, can you see the yes. board? Yes. Yes, okay, good. So I gave you the definition of infimum. Yes, sir. So here you can write down note. It is easy to see that from the definition. If S has an infimum If S is an infimum it must be unique It must be unique. It is denoted by infimum S. Note again, find 
Nanna said, does not have an infimum. Right? Now see some beautiful examples, small elementary examples to illustrate the definition. For example, if s equal to x belonging to R such that 0 less than x less than or equal to 1, then infimum of s equal to 0 and supremum of s equal to 1. You agree? Mm. Okay. Yes, okay. In this example, infimum of S is not an element of S. Here is the here your question is answered. But supremum of S is an element of capital S, the set S. If the supremum of a set S if the supremum of a set S is an element of S then it is called maximum of of set S and denoted by Maxis. Likewise, if the infimum Likewise, if the infimum of S is in S, then it is called Minimum of S. And denoted by Minimum of S. Surya, mm -hmm. 
How is the status of homeworks in this advanced scale? Yeah, I finished the first homework except for the two problems on word line. Yeah. So that was fine. Yeah, okay, that is fine. I tried searching for it. Surya, Surya, that some of some of the search you have done is very valuable. Build upon that search today in your mathematics meditation, and go to bed. Okay. Five minutes, ten minutes, gently go to bed. Lower you, put yourself to sleep. Hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, I want to stop here, and I have sent you more homeworks. Fine. Okay. So it behooves you to work the homeworks. Only then the real mileage of the course will be seen, as you know very well. Okay. It is our interaction which has helped us the most. Mm -hmm. huh? Interaction even on the homework. So you are most welcome. Yes, yeah. Okay. So I'll say bye bye, good night to you right now. Bye. Okay, sir. Okay. So we will meet tomorrow, definitely. When does counselling start? They have not yet announced the date. Beginning, what they have just told us that tomorrow they'll upload the new schedule. Okay. So that is most likely going to begin at least after day after tomorrow, not before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Thanks a lot, sir. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Good night. Good night.